Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is start over Saturday and we're starting an entire new month. Who is excited? Hello everyone. Let's take a look who's here. Hello Ashley. Hello Evelyn. Hello Terry Lynn. Hello B. Uh, good morning Alex. And good morning Jen. Hello everyone. So are you guys all excited about about the new month? Because this month we are going to be doing hashtag Molly May 2022. Sweet. Yep, get all your chores done. Um, Molly May is going to be uh, um, words. Words are hard. It's going to be a tribute to uh, Molly Harrison. We will be doing all Molly Harrison work throughout the month of May. And of course, we all know that it is also Mermaid. So we will be coloring some of Molly's mermaids as well as a hats off to Mermaid 2022 as well. So Molly Harrison is our artist of the month. So we have to pick some pictures, but the picture we will be coloring today will be this one here. I have printed it on the gray tone uh, paper that I put away. <laughs> uh, it's the Strathmore gray tone uh, paper that um, Monia Gates uses. Hello, Davisa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> oh, you're watching, you're watching paint dry is what you're doing. <laughs> so this is the picture that we're going to be coloring today. These are the pictures that we'll be going through and choosing for the rest of the month. So we've got to pick one more, um, mermaid picture out of this stack and two um, molly type pictures. <laughs> I haven't tried it before so I'm, I'm, I'm trying it for the first time Evelyn. I will let you know if I don't like it. Because you'll notice that nothing else is going to be printed on it. It's really expensive. <laughs> All right. So. And Wicca. Hello. 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 Good morning, dear. So I have separated them for the mermaids. So we have three different mermaids here. Um, two of them are done, or one of them is done with the magical fairy out of magical fairy world. Two of them are out of magical fantasy. If you want to want to uh, go to Molly's Etsy, it's exclamation point Molly. That will be her Etsy and exclamation point Molly Amazon will be her Amazon site as well. So if you want to buy the whole book, you can go to her Amazon site. If you just want to buy individual pages or the PDF of the entire book, you can go to her Etsy store. Hello, Calamity. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So these are the three that we're going to pick for the mermaids. I'll flip through them one at a time. <laughs> yes, or you can open your favorites and go to her page. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so this is the first one that we're going to choose from. This one is a grayscale. And then we have this one here, which is more of a line art. Good morning, Della. And then we have this one here, which is also a, a line art. 
So the uh, Magical Fantasy book is a line art book and the uh, Magical Fairy World is a grayscale book. So those are the three mermaids we're going to pick from. So I will have one, two, and three. So I'm going to do a poll uh, called Mermaids. And I'll do one, two, and three. Good morning, Crashes. So, so that is the three mermaids. We'll do the poll and we'll choose which one of the mermaids we will do. We're also, once again, for the new people coming in, we will be doing two mermaids, but we're going to start this one today um, for mermaid as well. So these are just a hats off a tribute to Mermaid 2022. I do not believe that they are an actual part of Mermaid 2022, but they are a hats off to it. So this one here is number one. This one here is number two. And this one here is number three. So number three, and number two, and number one. And then the hard part is figuring out the fairies because I like them all. I love her fairies and stuff, so I, I had a really hard time narrowing it down to just a few. Yes, I can put numbers on them. Hold on. Um, do I, where's my black? There it is. So this one here is number one. This one is number two. And this one is number three. So one, two, and three. These are, are not going to be the ones I color on because my printer decided to leave lines through everything. So <laughs> these will not be the ones I color on. So there's number one, number two, and number three. Yes, I will at some point get some sticky notes. The only thing I don't like about sticky notes, especially if I'm putting them on something that I am going to color, the uh, sticky note tape, the, the glue, um, leaves a weird residue on the paper. <laughs> yes, these are not are not the ones I will be using. Yes, I could do laminated cutie with paper clips, yes. So I'm going to call the poll because it looks like we have a clear winner with number one. So number one, so we will be coloring this one as well as the one we're starting today in the mermaids. Now for the hard part. <laughs> Absolutely no problem, Jen. So now for the hard part. we got to narrow this down to three. So we have this one here, which I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, it just left weird lines through everything. <laughs> So this is one, this one here, you can really see the lines. This one here, I, I love this one too. I love the, the glowy butterflies. They're just so pretty. And then this one, which has the poppies. And I love this one because it has a wolf in it. I gotta love the one with the wolf. And then the roses. And then 
in the Sunshine Fairy. Like I said, I had a hard time figuring these ones out. And then the floral, the sunflowers. So we got to break this down into three. So let's break down uh, the grayscale ones. So we'll decide from the grayscale ones first, and then we'll decide from the other four later. So this is number one. So number one. Number two. You can't see that very good. Number two. <laughs> and number three. Okay, so I'm going to do the poll. Alright, so it's going to be grayscale fairies, number one, number two, and number three. So number one, number two, and number three. And then once we figure that out, we can make some decisions on these ones. So how is everybody today? So this is number one. Welcome back. So this is number one, number two, and number three. Absolutely. Number one, and number two, oh dear, <laughs> and number three. I am doing good. I'm doing good. It's already been a busy day here, too. I'm actually fully dressed. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem at all, Jen. So number one, number two, and number three. We've got 14 out of 17 boats in. We've got three lurkers out there. Come and make your, your thoughts and suggestions heard. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I I have to run out as soon as I'm finished. So <laughs> you you still have 20 minutes after I'm done. <laughs> you dishes! I didn't do those this morning, so you're ahead of me. <laughs> Hello, Ronnie. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm going to call this poll. If everybody is ready, uh, so everybody put in your votes, and uh, we're going to count down. We've got two, one more vote to go. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to call this vote. And number two. So we will be doing the Butterfly Fairy. All right, so. And then for this one, we're going to eliminate one. So, <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to eliminate this one. Maybe. So, all right. Ah, oh, well, we'll just do all four. How's that? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do a poll uh, for fairies. And I'm just going to do all four. So one, 
two, three, and four. So we have number one. So this one is number one. Number two. Number three. These ones here don't have the lines through them, so I'm just putting the number up at the top. And number four. That's number four. Number three. Number two. And number one. Ooh, clear winner there so far. So we've got five votes out of 18. So number one. Number two, uh, number three, and number four. Number four. Yes, that is true, definitely. Number two. And number one. And we have 15 out of 18 votes in. So I think the majority is in. And the majority I don't know yet. I don't know what's in the store and what the prices are like or anything like that. I know that uh, Alex has a list of things that she wants to look at. All right, so I'm going to call it uh, 16 out of 16 votes. So we're going to call it in the poll. And number three. Exactly, that's why it's called an adventure. So number three has one, so we will be doing this one here. And anything that we didn't pick today will probably be completed sometime uh, during the month on Discord. So the picks for the month. This one. So I... I picked this one here. This is I, I had to do this one. It's just too darn cute not to. So we have this one that we're going to start today. This one here. This one here. This one here will be started next week um, because Mermaid is only at the start of the month. And this one. So those are the four pictures that I want to absolutely get done this month. And I will. The rest of them will be done on Discord. Yes, it's called the Merry Artist. Yay! Uh, you should be able to link it, Ashley.
So we will be um, live on Discord as we go through the store. So um, if you are a member of our Discord group, just uh, make sure that you jump into Discord. I will uh, make an announcement on the general tab. Um, if you see a whole bunch of us in the Discord uh, voice room, you know that uh, we are live and wandering the store. Looking at all the pretty things. <laughs> yes, it is uh, Mermaid. Um, Mermaid is the start of the month. I do believe it runs for like two weeks. But I uh, don't have any of the uh, pictures yet that uh, they have put out for Mermaid. Um, so I'm just doing a, a, a tribute to it. I do not believe Molly Harrison's pictures are in Mermaid, but I could be wrong. But um, my hashtag for the month is Molly May 2022. All right, so we're going to get started on this. We are using the Artex uh, colored pencils that I reviewed on Friday. And I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here. And we're going to get started with a little bit of blush pink. And I'm not going to... Actually, before I get started with that, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to switch you back over. Because it's a lot easier to put uh, the wisps in that around her in after we do our background. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some water drop inks. These are done by June 6. This one is called Turquoise Gem. And I'm just going to wet down a brush. Now, if you have never seen this happen before, watch quickly because uh, it will be quick. And I'm just putting a base coat of this down. I will be adding other colors later on. This is just the bases so that uh, when we do the coloring around the edges, of her we we have the base color down I'm not worried about going over any of the white areas because we'll be re-adding that same with going over any of the edges because we'll be re-adding the color So we're going to do the background top coat first. I'm not worried about the bubbles. Like I said, I will be re-adding those. I'm going to turn the page a little bit just so I can get into the deeper areas here. Now you can do this with ink, you can do this with uh, gel crayon. If you're going to do it with pan pastel, do it last so that you're not rubbing it off. Uh, 
Um, the water drop inks are available on Amazon. I can put a link up, or one of my mods can put a link up for them. They are called uh, water drop inks on Amazon. I can't remember if I have a command for them. There's some more expensive ones out there as well. I just bought these ones because they were inexpensive and looked exactly like everything else. And they work pretty good. So just putting a little bit of pressure on the brush to make sure I get all that ink out of the brush and onto the page. Not worried about going over her hair because that will be fixed as well. Not going to go over her tail too much, but. And it gives us a good base for that blue aquatic background. There we have the background. It's locally owned here in Oregon. All right, so we have the background started and that's what we're going to do with the background. We're going to be adding uh, other colors to it after we get the mermaid done. But I just wanted to get some of those bits in there so that when we do the hair, we can um, work around the blue areas that are deeper there. Might actually grab a small one. See if I can find one that doesn't have ink on it. And put a little bit into this area as well. Yeah, these aren't really distressed inks. What these are are a uh, chalk ink. So I will grab the link for that. Uh, and what they are is they, they react the same way as regular inks um, if I can find them <laughs> um, seems my husband's phone is ringing there they are so they work out to just over a dollar an ink. But there's the Amazon link for them. 
and like I said, they, they last quite a while. For this little tiny ink pad, I've had this for almost a year, if not over a year, and it still has plenty of ink in it. All right, now we're going to switch on over to the close-up camera. No, they don't rub off. They're, they're an ink. They do, if they're wet, pick up a little bit, but uh, they, they don't rub off like a chalk pastel. Nice! I am going to take one of the pages though just so I don't rub my hands in it because it is still a bit wet. And we're working with the wrong pink. <laughs> We're going to work with the blush pink first. In our shadow areas. <laughs> You're having a top chat party. You're welcome to have a top chat party. I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, chalk can be messy. Um, the pan pastels work really nice as well. But those are that's something that I would definitely put in at the end and spray it with a fixative. With these, you don't have to spray it with a fixative. And once they're dry, they don't lift up at all. Hi, Helen. Welcome, welcome. So still just going down the shadow area with the lightest pink that we're going to use. We are going to use pinks on her as well as some silver and some um, green grays and teals. I want to at least get her tail done today. It actually doesn't take very long. I did do a, a, a test run so I could see what colors I was going to use, which I typically never do. I am. I am. You had fun shopping on Etsy yesterday. Awesome. What'd you buy? What'd you buy? What'd you buy? I'm nosy. Welcome back, Wicca. Awesome. So you're all ready for Mermaid then? Now I'm not going down the center, 
I'm leaving the center open for the lightest color that we're going to use. I don't want to use that color yet because I'm going to use it as my blender color. And for all the new people coming in, these are the Artex colored pencils that I reviewed yesterday. So if you haven't seen the Friday, First Impressions Friday from yesterday, um, these are the pencils that I, I had on there yesterday. If you want to know more information about them, of course, you can definitely watch that video. <laughs> you don't need new pencils. You don't need new pencils. Yes. I know the feeling. All right. So I'm going to leave this part of her tail alone for now. And then we're going to go in with our pink, which is our medium tone. So we're going to come into here with it. Leaving that area there in the lighter pink. <laughs> Hello, Larissa. Welcome. Yes, yes, they are my they are my weakness. Definitely, it feels good to hold a pencil again after after a month of markers. I'm telling you. Okay, now I'm going to work on this area here because I'm going to go back and forth with our dark and our, our medium. So that we can get that blend in. The t dark color I'm using is magenta. Coming down under the tail. Of the seal. Then we're going to take our darker pink and we're going to come under there as well. And we're going to blend that in. I feel like I have something under my paper. Hi, Stacy. Oh, well, that happens. Life happens, Larissa. I'm glad that you're here now. It's awesome. Sometimes we just got to function in reality for every once in a while. I know it's no fun, but so I'm leaving a little line here in the center of the dark area. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. <laughs> yes, yes. Glitter gel pens are your nemesis, that's for sure. Now, um, some at, at the, the, during the month, we will also be having a special guest on the channel for her birthday. And I will let you know more details on that. We will be coloring a special page uh, that she has chosen uh, for her birthday coloring. So she will be joining us on her birthday. And no, it's not Molly. <laughs> I have reached out to Molly to see if she wants to join us. I have not heard back from her. So I'm hoping that she wouldn't mind. But if she does, then that's okay. If she's too busy, absolutely understandable. Because artists are busy, busy people. <laughs> well, yeah. Get that Amazon Prime going, you have to buy things. <laughs> So I'm going back through with that blush pink. I'm reestablishing that line. Pushing down a little bit harder. And blending that in a little bit. <laughs> You'll see on her birthday. I'll give you a hint. She is in chat. And her birthday is in May. And she's younger than me. <laughs> so we get to have another birthday party on the channel. Yay! I like birthday parties on the channel. Going through with the magenta and still leaving that, that line open where that highlight is. And it's going to close into here. So then we're going to bring our magenta all the way across here. And I'm going to turn the page so you can see it better. Pressing a little harder in this area right here. The great thing about grayscale is it does give you the opportunity to know where to put your light and your dark colors. Of course, you don't have to follow it. You you can put the dark, the light colors on the dark areas, and completely change it. This is just the way that the artist has colored it. Hello, Christina. Welcome, welcome. Coming off of it here as well with a much deeper magenta tone. Just 
coming right out into that area there. Coming down the other side. I don't know why my magenta is looking like hot pink, but that's okay. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> I'm actually liking it. I even checked with my rainbow. See, I even checked with my rainbow to see if I had the right colors going. <gasps> Ev! Awesome! I'm proud of you! A watercolor background. Awesome! I can't wait to see it. We might have to break out the, the paint puck and some watercolors for some backgrounds on some of the on the other uh, mermaid maybe. <laughs> yes, you would have to. You would have to hook up you'd have to hit up Pencil Thief and in the uh, Discord and see whose birthday is coming up. There's a few of them in May, actually. Hey, Marilyn! Welcome, welcome. Come back in here. Come down the, her hip here, and we're going to bring that forward. Come up under her arm and under the tail. And we're going to add a little bit more here. Now we're going to go back into it with the lighter pink and blend that in a little. We're going to come out here with the lighter pink. So this is blush pink. Filling it in. Now the rest of it I'm going to do fairly lightly. I do not have um, the Starjoy Gold's original order. I do have my own order. And... Uh, I can share that with you later on, but I do not have the Starjoy Gold original order. I did not like it, and I changed it. Uh, if you want the original order, you'll have to go to Color My World and ask her for it. Alright, so the next color that we're going to put in is a little bit of light peach. And we're going to use this light peach on her tummy area here 
to blend in those colors as well as down the light areas of her tail to blend those pinks in together. Then we'll be going back and forth with the other colors just to fill in any areas that are open. Yeah, no, I don't have uh, a link for the gold set. Alright, now we're going to take our dark pink again. And this is just straight pink. Alright, so I'm just going to come off of that dark pink with the pink. So the magenta with that pink. And then I'll have to add a little bit more magenta in. And just smushing those colors together basically is what we're doing. Getting into those shadows. Yeah, that's not fun. I'm sorry about that. It'll get there. Now I'm going to take my magenta while it's still sharp. And I'm just going to come through and I'm just going to underline the scales here. just very lightly. Well, thank you, Della. I appreciate that. I'm just concentrating on the scales. <laughs> Concentration. And the reason why I did the light first is as you look down the scales here, the white areas that were, were available before I started putting down the dark colors, when I put down the light colors, it filled in those white areas, which made it so that the dark colors didn't stick to it as much, and those stood out more.
And then the same down here. We're going to fill it in a little bit more with the magenta. Giving it that dark ridge. Um, the castle art golds or the regular castle arts because I have both. I just don't use the original castle arts a whole lot. And I don't have my swatch chart up for the originals. Um, I use, typically when I'm doing gold, I, I use three different colors. I use a red brown, uh, a light to medium umber type of brown, and a yellow. Every once in a while I'll throw a walnut brown into it if I want it to have a really dark edge. Come back down here. Just trying to get those shadows to be the color I want them to be <laughs> before I start adding the peach tone into it. Because the peach is going to be used to blend all the way down the tail. Yeah, the, like I said, the, the best one for that that I have found is just by going in with a, a light yellow and then building your color with some browns and brown reds and yellow. I'm adding a bit of beige to my highlight areas just because I want it to stand out a little bit. going to put a light layer of it down here as well. And then we're just going to add the peachy tone. So this is light peach. And I'm just going over the entire tail with it. Blending all those colors together.
And we're going to take our beige. We're just going to put a bit of beige in here as well, just to give it that yellow kind of glow. Her tail. <laughs> you better not be allergic to me. That'd be horrible. I would have to run off every time you came in the room. <laughs> So I'm just going to outline this here because I need to see where where the curve is. And it's easier to outline it in the dark. There we go. So we've got a really dark area under here and a really dark area under here. And I'm going to blend those with our pink. Just to give a bit of a highlight and contrast to it. All right, now we're going to take our light pink, and this is blush pink. And we're just going to do the tail. I'm just very loosely coating the area with the blush pink. So that I can see where the shadow is. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, Evelyn, don't wipe your hand on it. Then I'm going to go up the center of the tail here. Then we're going to take our dark pink and we're just going to build into it here. This is just straight pink. It's not our, our magenta. It's just pink. And we'll build the magenta off of the pink. Just coming down that edge of the, the spine area of the tail. And 
making sure that we leave that highlight area open. It's a very small highlight, so it's not meant to be a very large area, but it still needs to be there. <laughs> and then we're going to take our like peach and blend that together. And a bit of the beige. Ev didn't see that. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Dion. All right. Yes, Emily has a, a really good um, video on um, gold colors as well, Larissa. Um, if you do, I think, exclamation point Emily, uh, you should be able to get to her channel if you haven't been there already. I'm just going through. I need the medium pink. I'm going to go through with the pink. Adding that, extending that shadow. But she has some great combinations for gold, so. Awesome, yeah. So she she uh, was actually doing some gold yesterday on her on her uh, live stream. And she said that she has some really good uh, different different uh, set combinations for different sets, Prisma and other sets like that. So, and I know she has Castle Arts, so there's probably a good one on there. So coming up through with the magenta. And getting that shadow depth in there. Very cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure how many brands she used, but 10 is awesome. And I know she has the castle art, so it's probably in there. So just taking the magenta out to the edge of the pink. And then we'll take a little bit more pink out and then we'll do our highlight in this part of the fin. So All right, now we're going to go in with the light peach. All right, Dion, well clean away, dear. What did you what did you do? <laughs> how, how, what did you do to make a mess?
blending with the light peach. If you find that your blending color dulls down your other colors too much, you can definitely add more color. So. Going in with the beige, just giving it that little bit of a yellow glow and only putting the beige in the center highlight area. <laughs> Crafting, cooking, living with Jemiah. Yeah, that, that would definitely um, create some disarray in the house. Just living make creates disarray in my house so so as i was putting these pencils into my pencil holder uh, last night i have one pencil holder that's an older pencil holder that was created for pencils up to the size of a faber castell and these pencils are actually thicker than a Faber-Castell. Just, just a bit of information. <laughs> I was quite surprised. Alright, coming off with the pink. doing our shadow area. And then we're going to go back in with our magenta. Bring it into that other part of the tail here because that's going in behind here. darkening up that ridge there. And then we're going to go with our peach. This is light peach. And we're going to use that light peach to blend everything together. Using a fairly firm hand and a dull pencil just smushing all those colors together just like you would a prisma. <laughs> ah. That's cool. And now we're going to go in with the beige in the highlight area. Again using a little bit hard medium to hard pressure and getting that glow, that little bit of yellow glow in there. Now for the next one, we're going to come in with the pink.
This one here is curved up into this area here. and has quite a large shadow area. Getting that blended into the tail. Might as well get this one too. Thank you, Alex. All right, now we've got the magenta. And we're just bringing that magenta down in all of the shadow areas. This part of the tail is going to be more shadowed because it's in the back side of the curve. I keep on trying to avoid the bubbles and I don't know why because I'm just going to be adding colors to them. <laughs> All right, Helen, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, if, again, if you want to uh, join us for the shopping trip, uh, join us over on Discord, and I will be live while we're in the store. Come hang out, and we'll see how things go. All right, now I'm going to go in with the peach. Blend that together. And then I'm going to go in with the yellow here. I think I want a little bit more of that magenta here. Like that. <laughs> well, that's good crashes. Coming down, making sure that I've got all that gray area, all that shadow area filled in. Bringing in a little bit more of that dark um, medium tone in the pink pencil. And this is just pink. That's what it's called, is pink. And then we're going to go with our light peach. Blending that together. And then our... Oh, grayscale is easy. Don't be intimidated with it. Embrace the gray. And there we have her tail. Half of her tail. I gotta do the other half. All right. Oh, Alex, we'll have to cure you of that. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do this part of her tail here. I'm just going to put the light pink down it. So this is the blush pink. And then we're going to take our magenta. because this one is very dark. We're doing our magenta first. And then 
we're going to add our medium pink and blend that edge of that magenta in. And then we're going to take our peach and a little bit of the beige, like that. Oh, hello, Dawn. Thank you. Welcome back. All right, now we're going to go in here. And as you can see, I'm not sharpening the pencils. Um, the magenta I have sharpened because I have a lot of uh, detail areas to get into. But with the base areas, I'm keeping the pencils dull so that I can sort of just mush everything together with them. Sometimes a dull pencil works really good for coverage. Especially wax based from what I'm finding with using the prismas and these. Awesome! And I know Alex would nail the grayscale, but I think she'd really enjoy it if she jumped into it. So I'm just loosely putting down this base coat of the blush pink. Yes, absolutely. Post it in the Discord so we can all give it the love it deserves. Now I'm going to go in with the pink. I would love to see it. I'm going to turn the page just a little bit so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So this tone, uh, toned gray paper is a 9 by 12 um, size paper. I did not cut it down. Uh, instead, I increased the size of the picture to fit the, the printable area. And it actually worked out quite nice. It makes me able to see the details a little better. So again, just going through adding this medium pink, which is just straight pink, into our shadow areas, and extending it sort of a little bit into the highlight area, so that we have our mid-tone there. And I'm not doing this as loosely as I did the light pink, I'm keeping it quite targeted to where I want it to be. Now we're going to go in with the magenta. Which we want in our darker areas. Those areas that we have a good heavy shadow. Bringing it out into that medium pink a little.
trying to work with little flicks here because such a small area. I don't want to make it not have that point. If that makes sense. And of course I went over the lines. Just bringing it back up here. And come down here. Like so. Alex, bring the grayscale with you when we when we go out today. I'll work with you on it on the uh, in the RV. On the drive. Just very lightly adding that magenta to the pink. And then we're going to add a little bit more pink to it, blending it in a little. Yep, absolutely. All right, now we're going to go in with our light peach. And I'm going to put a little pressure on it. Blending those colors into the center. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add some beige. I don't know if you have to have an RV to learn grayscale, but... and putting in that highlight color. Like so. All right, now I am going to sharpen this one because it's starting to get a little too dull. <laughs> yep, new trend. <laughs> It is, it is. <laughs> so going through, adding the shadow for this part of the tail here. Now remember you've got a turn here and I think this turn is 
from this area here. It looks too far away to, for it to be that one. Is putting in that shadow area. So this part here is going to be shaded quite heavily because of the turn in her tail there. All right, now we're going to take our magenta. And we're going to come in and we're going to go right up against this part of the tail and we're going to bring that magenta quite heavily into this area of the tail. And we're going to lift our fingers, lift the pencil off the page a little, relax a little, don't need to be so, so heavy handed on this area. And then we're going to go back into here. Use a heavier hand up here because it's very heavily shaded. We're using a, a dark color, but a fairly light hand, medium to light hand, down here at the base. And between the sections of tail here. Lightening it up as we move into the tail. Hello view! Welcome Pamela! Good to see you! I'm just going to blend out that edge a little bit with the pink. Just going to bring that down a little bit. Because we don't want it to look like an obvious oval. And then we're going to add our peach. <laughs> oh dear! Poor Catrick. Blending everything together with our peach. And then adding the beige in the center here. Like so. And the last section of the tail. <laughs> oh, it's fine that F, yeah. Just one of those things sometimes. Took me forever to, to remember View's name. 
I even had to write it down on a sticky note and keep it stuck to my lamp here, to my tripod. I am horrible with names. Horrible. Every once in a while I, I still want to call Tonya Angela. That's just because I'm terrible with names. <laughs> Oh dear, that that's not a good sound. Don't don't say that. Don't you cuss our trip. She's trying to curse my trip. Hello Elizabeth, welcome. And we're going to come off the edge here. And up the center. I would take you with me, Ashley, if I could. <laughs> well, if I can't go, you guys can't go either because <laughs> now I'm going in with the peach, well, the light peach. Using it as my blender, mashing those colors together, and then using our beige for our highlight. All right. So I'm going to switch over so you guys can see her tail. And there we have it. She has a tail, people. And I know it's early, but... <laughs> um, we will be doing... <laughs> Shush. <laughs> no, we take the RV because my stomach issues uh is an hour and a half drive. That's why we're taking the RV. She has a tail and it's a pink tail. <laughs> So, do you want to see what she looks like half done? So, I have already started her on a different page just to figure out her her color sequences. Do you want to see how the ha upper half of her is going to look a little bit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So, no, yes, maybe. So, this is what the top half of her is going to look like when we get to it. <laughs> I mean, isn't that far? <laughs> 
So that is the hairstyle that we're going to do on her once we get going on her skin tones and that. So we are going on a road trip. Um, I will be going uh, on Discord. Um, we may even show the internals of the RV at some point while we're coloring. Depends upon you know what kind of setup we can do. But um, I will be taking my headset and we will be walking through the art store. It's called the Mary Artist. <laughs> and uh, you know we will be uh, walking through the Mary Artist and we will try to be live for you I don't know what kind of um, reception they get in uh, the uh, in the store so hopefully we will be able to show you some of the things in the store <laughs> It is stealth crafting. Yes. I will be talking to you on Discord and making it look like a phone call. Because <laughs> I have not asked. Um, until uh, next time or until you join us over in Discord, I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, hope you'll join us. Uh, to join Discord, all you need to do is hit exclamation point Discord. Ashley, I will send you a text message to let you know that I am uh, I am there, just to make sure that you, you're ready. It will probably be in about two hours or two and a half hours, um, somewhere around there. But uh, I will pop in and out of Discord, um, you know, while we're we're on the way, as well as while we're there, so that you guys can look around the craft store with me. Absolutely. Bob is the greatest man in my world. All right, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so uh, if you're going to join us over in Discord, I will see you all later. If you're not going to join us over in Discord, I will see you for Matters Monday uh, with where Art Matters. And this Art Matters Monday, we will be live so we will be doing a live stream for Matters Monday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we will be reading through the, the Art Matters book and coloring some pictures in it. Uh, because it is about a two-hour live stream, I will probably be get, able to get one or two different pages done. So maybe even three. It all depends upon how good I am. I don't think I'm that good. <laughs> but uh, we will be doing Art Matters Monday live. So um, I will set that schedule and hopefully I will be able to see all of you there. Until then, bye bye for now, guys. Have a great night. Always remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Bye bye for now. <laughs>